From 1732 Valley View atop Red Mountain to 30 Rock in New York City, Yvette Miley's path to the executive ranks of NBC News was paved through the Magic City. I would say that my time in Birmingham was probably extremely impactful for my career in the sense of not in like career tra tra trajectory, like, you know, oh, wow, aren't I special? No, but in the, the grounding and development of who I am as a person. That was shaped in Birmingham. That was shaped at WVTM because that was my first job leading an entire newsroom. This is the news director's office in the WVTM 13 newsroom. They help shape the coverage that you see every single day. They also hire the producers, the photographers, the reporters, and the anchors like me that you see on your TV. But it's also where Yvette says she learned some of her biggest lessons about leadership. I will say I had made, I probably made 10 mistakes a day in Birmingham. Um, but what the what the what the employees taught me in Birmingham still serves me today. I learned how to be a fair leader, as fair as possible in my treatment of people. I learned how to be firm in my values, to not let my values change. Values she grew up with as a curious Florida kid. If you were to look at my life, I was, you know, the last kid of a single mother, first in my family to go to college. The odds were against me. I was uh, predetermined to be a statistic, but yet I'm in the room. So I owe it to those who've gone before me and those who are coming after me to try to be my best in the room, period. Watching the news provided a window into lives and experiences different from her own. Then, um, you know, there was not a, a phone to get the information. Uh, you actually had to watch at 6.30 to sort of get the news of the day or 6 p.m. to watch the local news. And it just became a fixture in our process as a family. And I think that was where I first began to understand that there was a world beyond my block and that I could have a place in the world by seeing and watching um, the news. Yvette went on to become the first black female news director in South Florida, climbing the ranks at MSNBC and NBC News to her current position as senior vice president of diversity, equity and inclusion. She built a career sharing other people's stories, but says it's important to find your own voice. So often, as women, we think our hard work will speak for us. It does, but not nearly loud enough. Learn how to tell your story. Be able to say why you are in the job you're in, what you like about the job that you're in, and what you hope to gain from staying in that job or the next promotion or the next opportunity. Tell your story. Don't assume that someone knows your story. Tell it yourself. Carla Wade, WBTM 13.